Okay, Ecology Lab, I'm going to demonstrate a, a in this video I'm going to demonstrate a quick way to get your data into R and make a rank abundance curve or a, or a Whitaker plot. Um, so here I've got my data in Excel. I just entered these. So these are some leaf litter organisms. So here's some orders of leaf litter taxa right here. And then I've got two sites, so site one and site two. And these are the, the raw numbers of um, each taxon in each at each site. Uh, I made two other columns here that are the proportion, right? So for instance, I just summed these. I think this one, this column is 58. And then I just took here uh, 40 uh, divided by 58, that's 0.69. Uh, so I did that for all of these uh, over here. So this is the proportion. So when you sum these, they'll sum to one. Uh, I did the same thing for site two. So proportion one, proportion two. Now to get these into R, all you have to do is save this as a tab delimited text file. So I'll go here to file, save as, um, browse, okay. Uh, I created a folder on my computer on the C drive. So C, there's another folder called R, and inside that I made another folder called Ecology Lab. So this file is, is saved as an Excel file, leaf litter, uh, but I'm going to scroll down here and save it as tab delimited text right there. So save, and there we go. We can close this. Now, in my text editor here, I'm using Tin R. You can use R Studio or, or really anything. I have the code that I've uh, written to, to make this plot. So in Tin R, I can then launch R. I just click this button. And now I've got Tin R with my code in it here, and then the R window that's awaiting commands down here. OK, so the first thing we have to do is set the working directory. So up here, I have the, this first line of code, set WD for set working directory. And then in parentheses and in quotation marks, I have the path to that folder. So C R Ecology Lab. So I'm going to send that to um, to R. And down here we see that it did it. Okay. Now I'm going to create a new variable called site one. So right here I have site one. Use this little assignment operator, the less than and and dash. And I'm going to create in that I'm going to. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I'm creating a a variable called my data. And in there, I'm going to use this read delim. This, this lets us read a tab delimited file. And then I'm going to have the file name here in quotation marks. So I'll send that one to R and it read it in. I can verify that R read it in correctly if I look in my R window. I can just type my data and hit enter. And there's my data right there. So there's the taxon, site one, site two, the raw data, and then the uh, proportions. I'm going to be working with the proportions here. So um, that's the most important part. OK, now what I need to do uh, to make a Whitaker plot, I need to sort these data from the highest proportion to the lowest proportion. So uh, to do that, I'm going to create another variable called site1, use this assignment operator. And then from the my data variable, which is this little data frame down here, I'm going to use the order command, which basically sorts it. And then I'm going to put a negative sign my data, and then I'm going to sort on the column P1. So I put a dollar sign in to tell it I'm going to sort by a column, and then P1, the name of the column. And you have to do this thing because I'm sorting by columns. You have to do this, and then a comma, and then a bracket. I'll put all the code on world class so you, you'll have the exact syntax. OK, so let's do that. Send that to R. Done. OK, now I'm going to plot the first line on my um, on my Whitaker plot. So I'm going to plot site one and the P1 column, right? So dollar sign means column, P1. So site one, P1. Uh, type O, that means it's going to be a line graph. X limit, uh, I know I have seven taxa here, so my X axis is going to go from one to seven. My Y, Y limit, my Y axis is going to go from zero to one. Uh, this is just going to change the line width to, to make it thicker. This is going to make the color of the line red. This is going to make a point character of shape one, which I think is an open circle. This is going to set the size of those open circles. Uh, this is the, the label for X. So my X axis I want labeled as rank. Y label I want labeled as proportion of abundance. And then I have a main label, label Whitaker plot, leaf litter, invertebrates.
Okay, so let's send that line to R and see what happens. So we do that, and then our graph pops up. So here's our Whitaker plot. This looks great. Seven taxa, they're ranked in order with the highest here uh, going down. Now, I want to add a second site to here. So I'm going to sort that data again. So here, site, I'm going to create a variable called site2. I'm going to use the my data data frame, and I'm going to sort it, order, uh, negative, my data, sp2. The negative sign there means I'm going to sort it in descending order. Okay, so we'll send that line to R. Great. Now I'm going to add this, a second line to our plot. So I can use the lines command, site2, p2, um, type O, the line width. Here I'm going to use color blue. I'm going to use a different point character, pch. That's going to be, um, I think, a triangle. And let's run it and see what happens. Okay, I'm going to go back over here to my plot. So there's my second. Um, my second community right there on the, on the line. The um, last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, add a legend to the figure. So down here, legend, um, all of these things are just going to pop in there by default. So if I do that, and here we have a nice legend. So site one is red with a circle. Site two is blue with a triangle. And there we have it. Now you have this plot. You can Print it, uh, you can save it, save it as a JPEG or, or PDF or anything you really want, and then you can uh, turn this in with your lab.